Hey kids, Uncle Clockwork here. So a couple of years ago, a friend of mine called me up and he said I absolutely had to pay attention to this one show. Netflix was running it and it had references to my hometown, Durham, North Carolina. I said, okay, I'll, I'll check into it. So I start, started watching it and it had everything I loved. It had the 80s, it had uh, Dungeons and Dragons, it had uh, John Carpenter-like horror. It had Winona Ryder. I love Winona Ryder. You know, I was in high school when Heathers came out, so it was like, you know, Winona Ryder. Anyways, the show is called Stranger Things. All right, I can't speak highly enough of it. The gentlemen who wrote this show are from my hometown, Durham, North Carolina. And, well, I'll be honest, Clockwork Manor sits very close to Durham, North Carolina. It's kind of on the border of Durham County and Orange County, which is right next door. Well, Hawkins, Indiana, which is the fictitious town where Stranger Things is set, is based a little bit off of Durham, North Carolina. There's a lot of similarities. There are a lot of uh, uh, identical names as to streets and locations. So I thought it'd be interesting to uh, take you on a tour of these places, these real places on which uh, Stranger Things is based. The corner of uh, Curly and Cornwallis, Merkwood, where Will disappears, that's a real place. Uh, Loch Nora, the, uh, the subdivision that has the good uh, trick-or-treating, yeah, that's a real place. Uh, Enzo's is a real restaurant and there are a few other places around here I'd like to show you so if you'd like to follow me I'll take you on a tour the stranger things for real tour here we go so there it is kids we are at the corner of Curly and Cornwallis This is Merkwood. Yep. And as you can see, it is a very forested area. Yep. So this is well where Will went missing. Right here, folks. The corner of Curly and Cornwallis. You're right on the county line of uh, Durham and Orange County. It kind of like runs right along there. So this is where you would start your journey. All right. So we're going to head down that road there. This is Curly. This is Cornwallis. So we're going to be heading down Curly and we're going to be heading to Mount Summit. All right, so here we are at the corner of Curly and Mount Sinai. Not Summit, sorry kids. So, we'll wait for that car to pass. All right kids, so here we are, corner of Curly and Sinai. There's a elementary school over here you do not want to visit, okay? They have a rehab center. And here's a nice horse farm. This here's the Waller family farm. It has some nice uh, strawberry picking come uh, come spring. All right. So here's the next set of our journey. Corner of Curly and Mount Sinai. Now we're going to be taking Mount Sinai left here. And we're going to be going down that way. Okay. Now. 
All right, kids, here's where we go trick-or-treating. It's uh, not Loch Nora, it's Loch Nora. Now this is... Uh, one of Irwin and Loch Nora. Okay, now Loch Nora Parkway here actually comes off of That there's Mount Sinai, okay? There's that elementary school over there. So Mount Sinai. This is Corner Irwin. And here we have Loch Nora. So, good trick or treating here, folks. You know, this is where the rich people live, or at least upper middle class, so. And on to the next part of our journey. Okay, and here we have Irwin and Randolph. You know what Randolph Street has, folks, right? Okay. Now this is just down the road from Loch Mara. Okay. Right. There we are. Erwin and Randolph, and you know Randolph has the uh, the energy center on it, where all the experiments happen and where the gate is. So we're gonna go down Randolph now, okay? All right, folks, and here we have Enzo's. This is located off of Irwin Road, but this is Irwin Road on. It splits up and then rejoins closer to town. Uh, as you can see, this is not like a real fancy eatery, it's just a, a pizza joint. And there are lots of other places to eat in this little section here, of course. So if you're coming over to Durham, you know, you got a chance to grab some grub. We've got some wonderful places to eat around here. It's become a little food mecca. So there you go, that's Enzo's. Now, there's another restaurant that's mentioned, but they don't mention it as a restaurant. We're going to go there now. It's a place called Bullock's. All right, kids, now here is Bullock's. This was only mentioned briefly, and it wasn't really mentioned as a restaurant. But if you're coming to Durham, you might as well sample some of our famous Eastern North Carolina-style barbecue. And if you're going to do that, well, Bullock's is famous for it. Lots of celebrities come here when they come to town, so there's a place you need to check out. All right, on to the next leg of our journey. Okay, kids, so the Eno River runs by Hawkins. And here in Durham, the Eno River can be accessed at many different points. But I've chosen this point, the Gabelands access, off of Sparger Road because this is where the Eno Quarry is. Now in Hawkins, that's where they found, uh, they found Will's body, supposedly, in a quarry. And really, this is the only quarry that's around here. Now, this is a state park. It's very wooded. And that's one thing that you're going to notice if you come here. That, uh, this place is just carved out of a forest. Basically, all of Durham is. We have some lovely trees here. Of course, right now, this is early spring. We don't quite have the growth that we usually do. If you come here in the fall, it's quite spectacular. So basically, you would come down this path a ways. I'm just gonna walk down here a bit. Nice forest stroll. This is pretty much how the entire area looks, people. Okay. Now 
And I'm just going to come down to about right here or so. Because if you look up there, head on the trail, you'll see that sign. Okay, so about 100 yards up or so from that entrance sign, we have this sign. And the path splits. Now, if you head straight, you're going to hit the river. Okay, you're going to hit the inner river. If you turn left here, you're going to hit the quarry. Okay. Now, old Uncle Clockwork is old. The weather's turning nasty. And he's not going to want to make that journey. But trust me, it's really beautiful down there, folks. Don't go swimming in the quarry. People die there. There's plenty of paths and, you know, stuff to see. So just be careful. All right, kids. So the second body of water that is mentioned in Hawkins is the Jordan Lake. Of course, they call it Lake Jordan. And that's where we are now. down to the water. Now, as you can see, this is a prime spot for recreation. It is early spring, we got a lot of pollen. And this is located about 10 to 15 miles south of I-40 in Chatham County. North Carolina. And there we go, folks. It's, uh, that's Jordan Lake. So we're going to head on back now. All right, kids, and here we are at the final leg of our journey. This is the Rhine Research Center, named after jo Dr. J.B. Rhine. Now, if there was ever any place that ever gave serious scientific study to things like uh, remote viewing, psychokinesis, it would have been here. Now this is located off of Campus Drive, all right? And as you can hear, it's kind of busy. Now Irwin Road links up. Irwin Road links up with LaSalle. If you go all the way down LaSalle, you'll hit Bullocks. And a little bit down LaSalle, you'll hit Campus Drive. So, you know, right across from here, and we got a nice hotel, so if you need a place to stay while you're here in town, this is, uh, this is the Millennium. Yeah, but we have many other hotels in town, so... So... And I will be talking more about the Rhine Research Center when we get back to Clockwork Manor. So here we go. And there you have it, kids. The Stranger Things 4 Real Tour. Like I said, you know, it kind of jumps around a bit, but most of it is located in a very small area. I mean, you're only going to be traveling, you know, just a couple of miles to see uh, the corner of Curly and Cornwallis, Mount Sinai, Loch Nora, Randolph Street, you know, all those are like right there all together. Uh, your outlying areas, of course, you know, you're going to be traveling a little bit down Irwin Road to, to hit Enzo's. And from Irwin Road down LaSalle Street to hit Bullock's. And over to Campus Walk Drive to hit the Rhine Research Center. Now, uh, the, out, the extreme outlying areas are, of course, the Eno River. And you have many points to connect to that. The Game Lands Access is what takes you to the quarry. And, of course, 15 miles south of Durham, off I-40, you've got Jordan Lake, Lake Jordan. So, there you have it. The Stranger Things for Real Tour. Now, that last place I took you to was the Rhine Research Center. Now, I have a very special connection to the Rhine Research Center. My mother happened to be the research assistant to Dr. J.B. Rhine in the late 60s. Now, Dr. J.B. Rhine founded the uh, Institute of Parapsychology in the early 60s and changed the name to the Foundation for the Research of, on the Nature of Man. Uh, this was just prior to my mother joining. Um, 
I believe she has written a few articles in the Institute's uh, journal, the Journal of Parapsychology. Uh, this was back in the late 60s again. Um, she did have the chance to meet, but did not work with, the Apollo astronauts. Uh, Dr. J.B. Ryan had that privilege. Uh, and there are some experiments that were conducted, not NASA experiments, but experiments between Edgar Mitchell, Neil Armstrong, and Dr. J.B. Ryan that I intend to investigate because uh, I don't think anyone has pulled that thread. And when I found out about it, and I did find a New York Times article referencing it, I became a little intrigued. Now, the uh, Ryan Research Center has uh, a library that is open to the general public at this moment. I believe this is just a special deal they're running temporarily. Uh, usually it is a membership only organization. Uh, they do still continue the research into the frontiers of human consciousness. And, uh, and I encourage you, if you're interested in this sort of thing, to donate, become a member, and that way you can have access to the, the journals and the, uh, the library that is held currently by the, uh, by the Institute. Uh, if you're in the area, they won't allow you to tour unless you make an appointment. Uh, so if you are planning a trip to do your Stranger Things tour, I encourage you to call ahead or go to their website, uh, which is uh, rhine.org or rhineonline.org. Uh, and you can contact them directly and perhaps schedule yourself a tour. Uh, because if you're interested in Stranger Things, and you're interested in things like uh, what Eleven can do, remote viewing, clairsentience, psychokinesis, that's the type of stuff that the Ryan Research Institute studies. So, there you have it. And that's it, kids. Uncle Clockwork, clocking out. We'll see you next time.